Here we are in Palm Beach, where a very important meeting, probably the most high-profile meeting yet for President Donald Trump since he took office. He's meeting today with Chinese President Xi Jinping. And the two are obviously going to tackle some very important issues. President Donald Trump not one to hide what he's thinking. Uh, he has made very clear of the two major issues on his mind yesterday, tweeting jobs, jobs, jobs. He wants to talk to China about jobs, in particular bringing jobs back to the United States repeatedly throughout the campaign and into his uh, young presidency. He has blamed China for snatching so many of the opportunities that it otherwise could go to Americans. And that is something that he has been very intent on talking about with the Chinese, constantly saying that he wants fair trade, but not free trade. The other issue, of course, security matters, specifically North Korea. China is a major ally of North Korea. It's a major trading partner with North Korea. Uh, and so it hasn't exerted the pressure that, uh, the Don that Donald Trump's administration feels is necessary to accomplish what it wants in terms of keeping Pyongyang in check, preventing any nuclear tests, and keeping security in East Asia. And so those are the two major issues that they're going to be addressing. Of course, there are so many other issues that we don't know if they're going to be talking about. Human rights issues, uh, cyber threats, things of that nature that were very high on the agenda uh, with the Obama administration. We haven't seen that really come up a great deal yet with the Trump administration. And so those are going to be the major questions at the end of this 24-hour summit. But again, it is only a 24-hour summit. There is uh, really just an introductory meeting. They're going to be getting to know each other and possibly uh, drawing a roadmap for where U.S.-China relations are going to go under the Trump administration.